welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another VTalk video and I'm really excited about it because this video is in partnership with Sensitive Sense by Vagisil and today we're going to be talking all about our vagina. Now I made a video last year talking about what your vagina smells like and we gave some like basic hygiene tips for how to take care of your Virginia. But this time I wanted to come to you guys with my routine. So mainly just like my shower routine and things that I do to maintenance her throughout the day, right? First, I wanna get into my shower routine, okay? The first thing that I do is cleanse. Now, I usually cleanse with just soap and water. Normally, when it's just the regular time of the month, I use a regular old all natural soap. I just wash around that area, I do not wash in we already know this we already had this discussion about sticking stuff in there okay and i wash with my hands i use my fingers and i just get all in the creases and crevices and do all i got to do sometimes especially in the summertime when it's hot and sweaty or if i'm on my period and i just feel like extra extra dirty i will use a sensitive area soap so if you are going to use an intimate wash i would recommend the sensitive scents by vagisil this is a wash that is infused with the scent but it's gentle for sensitive skin so if you like to smell good but you don't want to compromise your skin by making it irritated this is a good one because it doesn't have any dyes parabens preservatives it's hyperallergenic it's ph balanced it's got vitamin e in it it's dermatologist and gynecologist gynecologist what gynecologist tested so it is fine to use on your area so like i said do not put this inside inside okay just use it on the outside um just to give you a nice fresh scent okay this one is the white jasmine scent and she smells great okay she smells heavenly other than gentle cleansing in the shower i do exfoliate my skin as well because like i said i am a wax girl if you get waxed you must exfoliate your skin it is imperative that you do so otherwise your hair is not going to come out as good when you wax the next time because you got dead skin cells sitting up on top of your little pores okay and i've talked about this in my video where i was talking all about dark spots and ingrowns and getting rid of them and all that kind of stuff if you guys would like me to make an updated video on the products that i like to use to exfoliate i can do that i can do a favorites for my vagina a vagina favorites video Video. that can happen okay I believe in exfoliating the power of exfoliating pre and post waxing the day you get waxed you do not want to exfoliate that day your skin's already been opened up and and she's hurt a little bit so don't don't overdo it the days after once your hair starts trying to grow back out you're gonna want to continue to exfoliate so you don't get ingrowns um, but the week before I get waxed like every single day I'm exfoliating because I want to make sure that hair comes up good okay I typically don't use a lot of moisturizers in that area because your body creates and generates its own moisture you typically don't need to add anything down there as far as lotions are concerned if I use anything it's for dark spots and what I do recommend is aloe vera gel and shea butter very on very rare occasions I'll put some type of moisturizer or something just because i know that that area to for me it doesn't get dry those lips don't get chapped these lips do that one doesn't i do use scrubs that are moisturizing so maybe that's why i don't know but i typically don't put coconut oil or don't put coconut oil down there don't do it sis because you will get ingrowns like coconut oil will clog your pores okay like i said i don't typically need anything down there to make her soft and and, and moist she does that on her own you guys ask me a lot of questions about what to do before and after sex. As far as hygiene goes, it's very, 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 very imperative that before I do anything, I'm clean, and after I do anything, I'm clean. If I don't have time to hop in the shower and do my whole routine beforehand, typically I do. Like before bed, I'll take a shower and do my whole routine. So when I'm in the bed, I'm already ready. If I don't have that option, if my schedule doesn't permit for a shower, <laughs> The timing isn't right. Then I will grab some wipes. You guys know me and y'all know wipes are my jam. I keep wipes in every corner of my house. I keep wipes in every purse. I keep wipes in my car. I keep wipes everywhere because you just never know when you're going to need some wipes. I mean, just in general, you need wipes, okay? Like, you just never know what's going to happen. Trust me, accidents happen, okay? So these wipes are actually the wipes that I've been using currently. I'm actually like, you see how thin it is? I'm almost out. But these are the White Jasmine Sensitive Scents Daily Intimate Wipes. And these are also gentle on the skin. A lot of the wipes that I've tried in the past, some of them are kind of dry. Like, you know how some wipes just are dry and they don't have enough juice like you kind of gotta wet them to use them not the case here okay they're very moisturizing the vitamin e in this is really 
it's there. They make my hands soft after I use them, so I know it's doing my vagina good, okay? These wipes are always in my bathroom, and I use these typically right before things happen and right after things happen. Not only does it clean me down there, but it also gives me a wonderful white jasmine scent that is not irritating, it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting or anything like that. My area is soft, so that way I'm not dry or cracked or chafing or anything like that, so there's no like harsh friction. To me, these are like perfect for pre and post. This is the only part of my routine really that I use to prepare. Um, like I said, un unless I have time to take a shower and then I do my routine. But typically I don't do anything as far as like douching or like inside cleaning. I don't feel like it's that necessary. When she's ready, she's ready and she's ready. Other than that, for post, go to the bathroom, wipe off really good, pee, always pee, because you don't want to get a UTI. Cause trust me, they're painful. And then I'll use a wipe. I always make sure to change my underwear. If anything goes down, whether you know it's after sex or if I go throughout my day and I've been sweating a lot, grab a wipe, wipe off, change my underwear. If I happen to have some leakage, discharge happens during certain times of the month, change your underwear. Don't just sit around in stuff because that's how stuff grows and then you got problems. Trust me, you will need it. Carry extra underwear with you i keep spare underwear in my car i keep it in my <laughs> i keep it in my purse you just never know when stuff happens dude like i've had accidents and i'm grown and i'm not ashamed to say this i've had accidents in church i've had accidents in at the airport especially the older you get and your muscles don't they're not as strong as they used to be you might tinkle on yourself on accident sometimes you laugh too hard and a little bit little bit pee come out yeah my maintenance is, isn't really a lot less is more i've just learned that the less you worry about her, the better she thrives. You know what I'm saying? She's minding her business, you're minding your business. We're good. So yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know if you liked it and you wanna see more VTalk videos for me and I will be so happy to do them. I love helping you guys out and giving you guys tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So I hope that you guys are excited about this revamp of this series as I am. I've got all kinds of ideas now because of you guys. So thank you guys. Keep the ideas rolling. If you have any ideas for these types of videos, let me know in the comments. Also, if you guys would like to check out Vagisil, be sure to check the description box. I'll have more information about Vagisil in there. And that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.